welcome back everyone so windows portable usb can be of great use and creating this kind of windows 10 or 11 portable usb in 2024 is really easy but before that let's see why you should create this kind of usb and what are the benefits so if you're using windows 11 and you face problem while playing any kind of game like valorant where it give you some kind of tpm and the secure boot error then what you can do you can just create a windows 10 portable usb you can plug in and start playing your game and even you can carry this portable usb while traveling and then you can connect to any kind of device and start using your own windows device you can also do the data recovery when your real machine is not booting up or got crashed and you can also fix many kind of problem like blue screen or the virus crashing now there are many more benefits that we can discuss later and now let's see how exactly you have to create this usb and what are their requirement now if i talk about the requirement then you need a usb or it can also be any kind of ssd drive next is the rufu software and number three the iso of windows 10 or 11 whichever you want to create so first you need to download the iso of windows 10 or 11 for whichever you want to create a portable usb i'm on windows 11 so i'll be creating the windows 10 portable usb for that you need to bring up any of your browser and in the search i will be typing here windows 10 iso download then you need to hit the enter key and click on the first link of microsoft now here basically if you scroll down you will not find any direct option to download the windows 10 iso so what you can do on your google chrome click on the three dot at the right in top then over upon more tools and then click on developer tools and this will bring up the developer tool on the right hand side now here from the developer tool at the right hand top you have to click on the three dot then you need to hold up on more tools and here you need to look for the network condition click on it then at the bottom you will find the user agent option uncheck this option and then from the drop down you have to select chrome chrome os and now you can go ahead and reload the page and once the page is reloaded now you can close the inspect element box so this time when you scroll down you will find the option to download the windows 10 iso so click on the drop down choose windows 10 multi edition click on confirm choose your product language click on confirm then choose you want to download for the 32 bit or 64 bit click on it and the downloading will now be started now it's around 5.7 gigabytes so it will take some time so you will have to wait and once the iso get downloaded now you can minimize it open up the browser again open a new tab then you have to look for rufus hit the enter key here scroll down a bit and click on the rufus 4.5.exe the portable type so that you don't have to install on your computer so click on it and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file click on yes and this kind of dashboard of the rufus will be coming up and now you need to connect your usb hard drive or ssd that you want to make a portable usb i'm using a 64 gigabyte pen drive so i will connect it and you can see that it's showing me over here now in case if you have connected any kind of ssd or any kind of hard drive then probably it will not show you here so for that what you have to do click on show advanced drive properties and then you need to check this option that says list usb hard drive once you check this option the next time when you click on the drop down you will find the other hard disk connected to your computer so choose the right usb or hard drive that you want to make a portable usb and then below it says boot selection and here you have to locate to the iso that you have downloaded for windows 10 or 11. so click on select and then locate to the place where you have downloaded select the iso click on open and then we have the image option and here you have to click on the drop down and select windows to go and now next it will ask you the partition scheme and it give you two different options gpt or mbr so this will depend that the device the usb or hard drive that you have connected that what kind of partition scheme that support so for that you can right click on the windows icon click on disk management from the suggestion now here you have to look for that particular usb or hard drive that you want to make a portable usb so on my end i'm using this removable usb drive so what i have to do here i have to make a right click click on properties then from the top menu option i have to click on volumes 
So now on my end, you can see it support the partition style of master boot record that is MBR. So I will be selecting the MBR in the Rufus. But if on your end it shows you GPT, then you have to select the GPT. All right, so in the partition scheme, I will go with the MBR. Volume label, you can change it like to Win10 portable so that we can quickly identify. And then finally, you have to click on a start. And now it will ask you that please select the version of Windows you want to install. All right, so you can choose the addition here. I will be going with the Windows 10 Pro option and then I will click on OK. Now it will give you some other options like prevent windows to go from accessing internal disk. So just need to uncheck this option. Create a local account with the username. And if you want that, it should automatically create a local account. Then you can type that particular local account name over here. So I will type crown disable data collection, skip privacy question. I can check this option. Then I have to click on OK. Click on OK. And finally, the process has been started of creating a portable Windows USB. Now here you have to wait for some time until the process has been completed. Okay, bingo. So now you can see the Windows 10 portable USB is ready and even the icon has been changed and it looked like a portable USB. So now you are good to go and you can connect to any other device, any other computer and start enjoying the portable USB. So let me quickly connect this to a virtual machine and then I will show you that how exactly it works. So now I'm on a different Windows 11 machine and this time I will be restarting the computer so that the next time I can boot with the portable USB. So I will go ahead and restart and then I need to tap the BIOS key so that I can enter the BIOS mode where I can change the boot priority order. So depending on your manufacturer, the BIOS key can be different. So you need to find it out in the Google that what is your BIOS key. And once you enter, you need to change the boot priority order. I'm on a virtual machine, so I will be selecting the USB device and then hit the enter key. OK, and now you can see the Windows 10 is loading up. So wait for some time. OK, bingo. So now you can see the Windows 10 has been finally installed. Now, keep in mind the first time when you will be connecting this to any computer, it will be going with the installation process and it may take some time but after that the next time you will be plugging in back again it won't take too much of time all right so now you can see i'm enjoying the windows 10 machine inside my windows 11 only without affecting any kind of data now additionally what else you can do as it is a portable windows 10 usb so what you can do you can save any kind of data all right so what i will do just for the demo purpose i will create some kind of folder here Alright, so I've created three different folder by the name test1, test2, test3 and then I will close it. I will also install some kind of application. Okay, I've installed two different application here. One is the Revo uninstaller and the second one is the Google Chrome. Alright, so now we have Google Chrome application, the Revo uninstaller and we have also created three different folder in the document section. So now what I will do, I will just shut down the computer or I will just plug out the USB and then I will plug in back again and see that whether the data remain or not. Okay, so I plugged out the USB and then I restarted the computer and again I will be booting with the same device. So I will choose the USB device. Alright, so now you can see that it booted very fast. As I said, the next time when you will be booting up, it won't take much time. And you can even see all the application that we install like Google Chrome and the Revo uninstaller, they still remain in the computer. I can bring it up and here it goes. Similarly, if I bring up the file explorer and go to the document. So you can see that I can find all the three folder that I created over here. So none of the data will be deleted if you plug out the USB and connect to any other device. So this way you can store any kind of important data or install any kind of application and everything will be inside the portable USB. So if you are traveling to any other location and if you don't have your own computer, then you can connect this USB to that different computer and you can start enjoying it. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.